my god. Sorry for that jump scare. <laughs> So we're in Egypt, stop by to try to find a spouse for our sociopathic millionaire. We also brought along the lovely, the beautiful, Silvia Moretti. Even yeah. yeah. Have you heard Fahad Madbuli is completely broke? Well, she ain't above being a sugar mama. Fahad is our one and only hope at this point. We have not met up with him yet. We've just been here like a couple days. Mm. Mm. Don't mind me, just eating literal brains. And you're eating eight glizzies, apparently. She can throw them back. We need to get out of the base camp. And luckily, Miss Angelina is 76% to visa level three. So hopefully we can get a house. But yeah, I'll leave Sylvia to it, the glizzy guzzler. Out here on our Lara Croft-ish. Oh my god. Fahad wants to go on a date. He's beauty and he's grace. Bazooki, not a Santa. Help me, Fahad Madbuli. You're my only hope. Yeah, all those rumors about me being the white devil. It's it's fake news. Ooh, is he single? That's a very important question. We have all the questions. He did ask us out on a date, so I hope to God he's single. Oh, he's unemployed and she does not like that. It looks like. <laughs> Why is fight an option? I would love to go just like two seconds without you insulting someone. That would be amazing. She has a good sense of humor. I feel like she should lean into that. Well, he literally ran away. So uh, knock, knock, bitch. We're at his front door. Why do I feel like we've been here? He's naked. Okay, sir, look at this house. What, what is that? that? Sana Madbuli. Bruh. If that's your wife, I swear. <laughs> this, uh, this complicates things for sure. <laughs> Call it a white savior story. Miss Angelina has saved the residents of Al Samara from the evil capitalists. And that means we have reached visa level three. So we're gonna secure a house and then we're gonna secure our mans. <laughs> so what are the options? 72,000. Ah, uh, I sort of wanted this house. We can't afford that. We could afford this 180 almond tree house. I like how this is like an island. That's so cool. It's the Moretti's. Go big or go home, right? 180,000. Here we go. Sylvie's like, thank God. We can finally get out of those damn tents. <laughs> house number seven the layout of this house is very cool it's like two separate structures this one's like a little apartment with a loft oh it's pretty big and a huge pool very nice This here snake's almost as venomous as Angelina. So how do you guys know I'm not an AI that's just programmed to make dad jokes? Honestly. Oh my god! Not Jason. Okay, so let's actually go to our new house and we'll invite Fahad over because, you know, his wife's at his place. <laughs> Angelina, this is your last resort. This could be your new uncle if we're lucky. <laughs> um, she tried flirting and he did the I don't know emoji with the hands. Don't give us mixed signals, Fahad. We ain't got time for it. Um, before we screw things up completely, because I feel like that's inevitable, let's do a risky woohoo. Why the heck not? She is a daredevil, so she loves that risky behaviors. I mean, so far, he seems down for it. Whose cheeks are clapping? What is that sound? <laughs> Why would he reject us for a hug, but then, like, be down bad for a woohoo? I'm so confused. They did the woohoo and then he said, you got issues and I ain't sticking around. Bruh. And he's just strutting home. He, le <laughs> he left, he hit it and quit it. I think he just wanted to taste that white devil, honestly. <laughs> Not her thinking about Fiore. She's like, when I get back to Monte Vista, I'm beating his ass. <laughs> So it's our last day here in Egypt and Fahad did just invite us out again, uh, but we're going to go over to his house 
I think we might seal the deal one more time. If things go okay, maybe we'll try to convince him to leave his wife. We'll take him right on back to Monte Vista along with all the relics we stole. So let's see how this goes. She's waiting by the door. Like, who are you bringing into this house, husband? I'm crying. Wait, no. Angelina. Fahad, before we ruin things, let's do another risky woohoo. Just real quick, like, uh, don't criticize his family, Angelina. His wife left, so we got him all to ourselves. Sneak on over there to the bed. Uh, preferably not the one that his wife... Okay. He's like, oh, she's not feeling well. I'm just going to tuck her in here. <laughs> We're just gonna stand here awkwardly in our pajamas and pretend like uh, nothing happened. Ignorance is bliss, right, ma'am? Oh. Nakura. Um. Oh my God. What the love triangle is happening? Yeah, I don't know if. It would be the best idea to take him back to Monte Vista. So I think we're just gonna sleep on it, mull it over. Angeline and Sylvia are gonna go pack their bags and I will see you back in sunny Tuscany. Flish. 110 years old, wears a wig, probably can't see worth a damn, but still a boss. <coughs> Gagging on him by the looks of it. What a movie! Well, either she sucked that glizzy down too darn fast, or there's something a brewing. And since she is a glizzy expert, something tells me it's the latter. Nominee five uh, to be. Oh. Yeah. Miss Sylvia knocking him out the proficient painter skill challenge because she has painted six brilliant paintings. And in the morning, we have to fix this. They, they have been sharing a bed for way too long. We live in a mansion. We have other houses. Someone is getting kicked out <laughs> of Moretti Manor. So I think I'm probably gonna send someone up to the townhouse. Uh, Miss Angelina is pregnant with our third, no wait, our fourth, seventh gen. I actually don't know if she's cut out for being in a relationship, but at the same time, I definitely didn't want this line of the family tree to end. And um, a few people suggested maybe she should adopt. I also thought that was a great idea. And someone else said, you know, she could just get pregnant with the man, but that doesn't mean she has to keep the man. Poor Fahad out there in Egypt with his wife who he'll never be able to fulfill emotionally. Know, know that. that. He was just part of Angelina's master plan. Oh God. I can see Angelina did end up tracking down her nemesis. I mentioned I want to solve our space problem. Not the aliens that are out there. When is it my turn to get probed? Hello? Not talking about that space. We don't have enough bedrooms and we have two teenagers sleeping in the guest bedroom. No one's even supposed to be in here. Period. So we have to exile someone up to the townhouse i'm tempted to send claudio up there Bruh. just because he's the oldest he's completed his lifetime wish he does go to work so that means the carpool will like drop him off here technically but i'm not really worried about that i can always just send him back up there the other option i guess would be to send a nibale but i sort of prefer to have him around the house he has one daughter who's still a teenager and he's still working on his career he is level nine so he only has one more promotion to get i can see he wants that and then he'll complete his lifetime wish what the f oh my god he recognized he was being exiled and he said i'll just i'll just end things right here wait what oh fee oh what the complete and utter chaos is happening this was our beloved butler renee no longer, I guess. It's like he made his way down from the townhouse. <laughs> Her uncle just died, but she's more worried about resurrecting the dead butler, which speaks volumes. <laughs> and everyone on cue? Fiore is clearly not a team player. Claudio, as everyone knows, was a great one. How old was he? Like 110? Twin to Camilla, father to Fiore, uncle to Camillo. So many things, world-renowned surgeon, but I think he will be mostly remembered for his iconic 
wig. He he would not perform a surgery without it. It was his lucky wig, and um, his body is gone, but that wig will always remain. I know this was a bit of a shorter one, but we're going to end things here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one.